Hey guys, welcome to this video on the C programming language. So in this video we want to write a recursive function. We're going to call it pow2 that takes in a positive integer that we're going to call n and returns 2 to the power of n. So let me go ahead and start off by writing a description for our program. It's going to be exactly what I just said. We are going to write a recursive function and it's going to be called pow2 that takes in a positive integer that we're going to call n and returns 2 to the power of n. Okay, so let's see an example here. So an example would be um, maybe pal 2 of 3. So pal 2 of 3 is going to return the value 8 because 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8. And that's exactly what I'm going to put there. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is uh, include our library. So we're going to use the number sign, include stdio.h. And then I'm going to go ahead and create our main function. So int main. And it's going to return 0. All right, so just setting up our main function. And let's go ahead and declare. Uh, our functions, which really is just one function, and it's going to be called pal2, but uh, it needs to return an integer, so we're going to say int pal2, and it's going to take in a parameter, an integer value called n, okay, and I'm just going to copy this here, so now we're going to actually uh, create our function down here. All right, and I'm thinking a recursive function would be good for this. So let's think about how we would create this recursive function. Um, so basically, if we have uh, 2 to the power of 0, we get 1. If we have 2 to the power of 1, we get back 2. If we have 2 to the power of 2, we get back um, 2 times times 2 and if we have 2 to the power of 3 we get back uh, 2 times 2 times 2 all right so it looks like like we can uh, make this a recursive function so our base case will be when n is equal to 0 so we can just return 1 so here we go. So if n equals 0, um, then we are going to return 1. All right. And then we need our recursive case. And maybe I make this b here a capital and this r here a capital just to make it look kind of nice. Okay, so now we need our recursive case, and our recursive case is going to return 2 times pal of, um, sorry, pal 2 of n minus 1. Okay, and that's because uh, it looks like here, the very first one here, when we have uh, n equal to 1, we actually have 2 times uh, 1 here. You can, you know, it's an implicit 1 there, or uh, 2 to the power of 0, 2 times 2 to the power of 0. So uh, that's basically, that should, that should pretty much be it. And let's go ahead and check it out. Let's try to run this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and create a print statement and we're going to say 2 to the power of percent %d we'll come up with some value here uh, equals and then we'll say what the value equals and then I create a new line here all right so I need to create these variables so I'm going to create a variable let's call it x and since I use 3 in our example, let's set x equal to 3. And now 
let's put X here. Yeah, X and what do I want? X and pal two of X. Did I misspell two? I did. TWO. All right, and let's run this. All right, still okay. There we go. So perfect. It printed out two to the power of three equals eight. All right, so let's maybe substitute another number here, uh, like five. So two to the power of five, I believe is 32. So let's go ahead and run this. And we can see that two to the power of five is equal to 32, just like we expected. And of course, let's try our base case, which is uh, zero when n is equal to zero, we're going to return one. So let's run that. So we get two to the power of zero equals one, just like we want it. Now, of course, this doesn't work for uh, negative numbers. So I don't. There's no case for uh, negative values of n, but again, we're only using a positive integer of n for this specific program. All right. So. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have, uh, likes, comments, and don't forget to share if this video was helpful to you. And I'll be sure to have this code in my GitHub, and I have a uh, link to my GitHub in the description below. So as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.